I think it's about time that we name our pets. So of course the first one is going to be Cujo for the dog and Raven for the cat. And we need another cat for Sparrow as well. So we'll have to keep an eye out for a cat that looks like him. Here we go for Raven and for Cujo just over here. There you go, boy. So last episode, we found this villager, and in between episodes, I found a very broken mechanic with this guy. So apparently, with Lashanda, the master, uh, I actually traded a bunch with Lashanda, the master, uh, in between episodes, and the reason for that is because, for some reason, she doesn't have any cap with how much you can trade with her. So I have just been trading bone meal because we had because we've almost had a complete double chest full of bones I've just been trading emeralds and I've gotten so many emeralds back at base just from trading with them and I can continuously trade and trade and trade because it's a never ending supply of bone meal and she doesn't have a cap on how many times I can trade with her in a day it's 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 ridiculous it's completely broken and I love it so thank you Last episode, we built this gigantic thing. And this episode, we are going to work on the interior in here. And what we're going to put in there, like I said before, was actually all of the different portals that we could possibly need for the game. So as I showed you guys before, we have the Everbright, Everdawn, the Nether, and of course the Twilight Force. Now the Aether is the only one that I haven't gotten the Glowstone for yet, and the reason for that is because I had to take down the Obsidian and I forgot to do it before. Anyways, don't yell at me in the comments, we're going to do that today as well. But yeah, anyway, so this is everything we're going to need. Now the idea that I have for this is we're going to have this kind of set up. So we're going to have a portal here, and then we're going to have a portal on each corner, and on the ground we're going to have the blocks from each different portal or each different world i should say kind of combined together in the middle of the room here all right so each it's going to look like each portal is going to be leeching out and it's going to look really cool i think it is always raining on the server so of course the nether is going to be the one kind of in the center here because that's going to be the gateway sort of to all to everyone else's bases and so we're going to have the nether here, and then we're going to have maybe the, I think this is the Everdawn one here. I'm just going to go like this. Is that right? That doesn't look right. No, it needs to go up one more. I'm an idiot. There we go. And then the same with the other dimension here. I did it wrong again. There we go. So in order to access these two dimensions, we don't use a typical flint and steel. We need something called a zeal lighter. And when I traded with the villager in order to get the zeolighter, they also have a trade for uh, the journal. So what we do is right click that and then we unlock the tab here. Now this tab gives us pretty much everything we need to know about uh, each of the different um, portals and everything and what we can expect in it. So there's the Everbright portal and then the Everdawn and once we go in and we start finding stuff then we can get some pretty cool things in it so let's go ahead and light them there we go there is the ever bright and then we have the ever dawn and then we also have the nether there we go and oh this looks weird i i, I missed out on two um obsidian blocks because i wasn't expecting to actually uh make a three by three anyways whatever we need, we're gonna go in there and get the stuff we need for the aether i'm already getting shot at and having issues here what the heck ow leave me alone ah! does this guy have punch or something on his bow come here you stop it there we go okay where are we uh ah stop it So because I moved the nether portal, oh boy, my computer is lagging like crazy. So because I moved the nether portal, our spawn here is a little bit different. Thankfully, because the other place was absolutely horrible. Anyways, what have we got here? This is an interesting little area here. Is there a spawner up here? Please don't be a spawner. Oh no, but this chest. And the chest has some gold in it. 
Very nice. Alright, so what we're in here for is actually some glowstone. So we need to find a way over to that. Preferably without dying. Hey, piggy. How's it going? That seems like a terrible place to be right now. Holy mackerel, look at this place. Ow! What in the world is this nightmarish place? Look at the bridge. Look how precarious that looks. Okay, don't get distracted, don't get distracted. We could always come back and explore things a little bit later. What we- STOP SHOOTING ME! You! Knock it off! You! No! Bad. Damn. This is not a good idea to be hitting people with the- Ugh. There we go. You! Stop it! Alright, let's just grab some stuff. And then grab this glowstone. Okay, so glowstone has been- Oh, did I already mess this up? Nope. Glowstone has been acquired. There we go. And to light this, all we need is a bucket of water. There we go. So that is four out of the five portals. The last one being the Twilight Forest. But we're not going to worry about that quite yet because the Twilight Forest one is actually in the ground. So I want to get the ground all done for this just so that we can have a baseline and uh yeah then we'll come to that last okay so let's go back into the nether and get a few blocks to decorate our floor but i thought the main block that we should be using is probably nether bricks because when i think nether bricks i certainly think nether and that and i think that this will make the nicest floor that the nether can provide because to be honest most of the nether has some very ugly blocks other than of course some blackstone which we're also going to get here and now for the ever dawn well this is kind of oh boy i was going to say this is kind of pretty and then they spawn me right next to a boss that's that's fantastic anyways let's try and get a bunch of these trees and everything and take them back Next is the Ever Bright. Let's head on in. Holy trees. My oh my, that is a lot of trees. I'm not sure if we can cut down this whole tree. I think it's too big. Yep, way too big. However, we can cut down these little guys. There we go. And we're already getting attacked. My tool does not work well here. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here before I end up dying. And now for the Aether. Please don't get pushed off. Please don't get pushed off. Please don't get pushed off. What is this spawn? No! Oh my goodness, we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I like on the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more blocks. Oh no! He's absolutely messed me over. No! Wait. Uh, am I going to die here? Oh. Okay, what? Uh, why, Slime? Why did you... Why did you do this? Can I... Can I move around with this guy? Uh, I can kind of guide him. Probably not going to die. If, uh... As long as if I don't shift and get off of him. Actually, this is a nice view of my place here, you know. Shows off all the buildings and everything. This is nice, this is nice. Thank you for this tour, but I would much prefer to be up there at the moment. Oh, he just died! Aw. Has anyone actually tried to uh, put a nether portal in the Aether? I'm very curious as to what would happen. Okay, now that we have all of our supplies from every single dimension, Actually, I don't know where half my stuff went, but uh, I'll have to go and look for it. But we are now ready to embark and start building our interior. And now for the final portal. And now, in order to make this, all you have to do is just add a few flowers in and around here. Like this. We're going to add some yellow ones just there and there. Make sure it's all filled. Then, what we need to do is take our water bucket. Go like that. And like that, make sure that they are all source blocks. And then what you want to do is this. Hopefully this works because we're indoors and it is supposed to go 
Like that. There we go. Ow. That hurt. Alright. Here goes the Twilight Forest. I'm kind of terrified of this one. Not, not gonna lie. Whee! Okay, we are in a very bad spawn right now. Um. Ah! Eat! Get out of here. Oh my goodness, you guys are so annoying. Okay. Let's try and get out of this biome because we're not supposed to be here yet. Uh. Okay, that is a problem, because that's where our spawn is. Alright, let's get these blocks and get out of here. Well, that is not menacing at all. I don't look forward to that. Okay, so this is what I have done so far. Now, I might be adding just a few little details. I still need to finish up this roof, and so much more. But as for the floor, I am pretty happy with it. We have all the blocks from each dimension, leading into the middle, into this beautiful... Uh, crescent wood or crescent fruit tree so yeah each portal has of course their respective woods and uh, blocks coming out of each of them which I think is pretty nice and then of course we have the overworld one coming in and the fact that it doesn't go all the way to the tree itself kind of shows that each dimension is kind of leeching more and more into the overworld now, there's a few important things that I need to show you. First of all, butterfly. I can put it on my head. Look at that! I have a little pet on my head. Oh, isn't that adorable? The next thing is, of course, we have all of our quests. So, since we went into each and every different um, portal, we have a ton of quests that we fulfilled. Look at them all. Look at all of them. So, we can just go up here, collect our rewards, and oh my goodness, we got so much. Actually, we didn't get nearly as many as I thought we would. We're not, I thought we had more stuff than that. Anyways, we got maps, we got ingots, we got more portal stuff. I don't know why we would need these, because we already have the portals. But yeah. Also, Book of Lore. This is something I should probably show you guys. So, if we take anything from the Aether, for example, this Aether Grass. If we take it, right-click this book... And put it in it will tell us everything that we need to know about that certain block in the aether well i said i was going to do the interior and i think i did a pretty good job of it i'm pretty happy with the way it came out and yeah i am very excited to start looking through all of these dimensions and really thoroughly exploring them all and look at that i have 50 levels my goodness i didn't even notice that i better start enchanting soon of course before i uh Die and lose it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's totally something I do. Anyways, you guys, that is about all the time I have for today. I think we got a ton done, and this place is looking pretty epic. I love it. Alright, you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys all next time. Ciao for now!